Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a grocery haul for Sprouts. So this was my first this was my first time shopping at Sprouts. A subscriber mentioned it to me and he asked if I've ever been there or what my thoughts were. And I've never been there before. I did hear things about it being overpriced um, in comparison to like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and things like that. Um, so I wanted to find out. I wanted to find out what all the fuss was about because I know a lot of people shop at Sprouts and Sprouts has a lot of specialty items and yeah, figured we'd try it out. So before we get into it, I did want to mention that I did feel like it was a little overpriced. I feel like Whole Foods has better pricing. Don't quote me, maybe I'm entirely wrong and maybe Sprouts has better pricing, but I felt that it didn't. Um, I bought a lot of probiotic drinks that had different pricing at Sprouts in comparison to Whole Foods. Um, but I did find a few new things at Sprouts that Whole Foods does not carry. So that was exciting and I love going to new grocery stores. So it was an adventure. Um, also, I wanted to throw in a little mini haul from the Jordan Market. So the Jordan Market is a few minutes away from the Sprouts that we went to. It's a Mediterranean market and they have all the things that I love. <laughs> They have tons of spices, they have a bunch of hummus, tzatziki, like all of these Mediterranean goodies. And I wanted to check it out and we got just a few little things so I figured I would show you what we got. Um, and let's just jump right in. All right, so I'm going to start off with all of the Sprouts items that we got. It's not that many. Um, and I'm just going to start off over here actually with the frozen items. So we've got this pizza here. I was actually surprised with their pizza, frozen pizza selection. I thought it would be way bigger, but it wasn't. We only found this one that was actually appealing to us. I think Trader Joe's has a much better frozen pizza selection, so that's that um but this one is alex's awesome sourdough it's mushroom pizza on sourdough so that sounds amazing we love sourdough and um the ingredients are actually pretty darn good for a frozen pizza so very excited to try it will keep you updated on how good it tastes hopefully amazing and then we picked up some of the aldine's organic ice cream this one is mint fudge little sandwich i love Aldi aldine's organic ice cream you guys know we always get the sandwiches um this one i've never had before it sounds really good i love mint ice cream and then this one is vanilla dark chocolate almond me i picked this one out sounds delicious and guaranteed it's going to taste phenomenal and then moving on we've got some actually salad stuff because we've been eating at sweet greens and mendo chino farms for the last like three days because we've been obsessed with their salads so i figured it's time to make them at home so i've just got some like baby kale here and i'm just going to chop it with this baby spinach and baby red butter lettuce just looks like this and we also got some dressings. I'm usually not a dressing person, but obviously Mendocino and um, Sweet Greens uses really good dressings. And I think that's what makes the salad taste phenomenal. So we've got this one by Bolt House Farms. It's organic avocado ranch yogurt dressing. It's only 50 cows for two tablespoons. And the ingredients are really, really good for dressing and then um that one's avocado ranch and then this one is by bolt house farms also and it's cilantro avocado yogurt dressing and the ingredients are pretty good as well this one this brand is actually really good my mom used to always get these all the time just like the regular creamy ranch so we picked both of those up for salads it's going to taste amazing and then um, I picked up this spicy-ish arabiata sauce. 
you guys know I'm obsessed with making my new pasta recipe. Um, so I figured this would be a good option. And the ingredients are very good. I love anything spicy. I also love arrabbiata sauce. I get arrabbiata sauce. I think that's how you pronounce it from Trader Joe's and it's really, really good. So I think this one will be even better. And then we've got a whole lot of drinks here. So Sprouts did offer like a very good selection of probiotic beverages, but I do think that Whole Foods offers relatively the exact same. And I mean, don't quote me, but I honestly think that Whole Foods is a little bit cheaper. But anyways, so I've got my poppy drinks. These are my absolute favorite and this flavor is the absolute best. It's rosemary, raspberry rose. It's delicious if you have not tried it. It's perfect for gut health and the ingredients are super dang good. So I've got two of the raspberry, raspberry rose ones or rosé, I don't know, because I know this flavor tastes amazing. So I picked up two and then this one is new. I've never tried it. It's lime ginger. I've been wanting to try this one. So I think it'll be really good. And then this one is totally totally new and it actually doesn't have like a flavor anywhere but oh it's peach tea <gasps> dang if i had known it was peach tea i would have probably got like four of these i love anything peach flavored so that's that and then i've also got this olipop soda i've been seeing it all over instagram and i've been really wanting to try it this one is the vintage cola Sparkling tonic water with prebiotics, botanicals, and plant fiber. Very excited. Ingredients are amazing. It has Jerusalem artichoke in it. And kudzuru, cassava. Dang, like this has all the good stuff in it. I also got this flavor too, strawberry vanilla. It sounds really, really good. And then lastly, I've got this kombucha, main guava. And it looks really good. Never tried it, but... You guys know I'm all for trying new beverages. I'm all for trying new kombuchas. I really think this one's going to taste so good because it's mango. And mango anything, please. But anyways, that's going to conclude the sprouts haul. We literally only got a few things. And then we stopped by the Jordan Market in Westwood. And oh my goodness, you guys. I love, love, love these little Mediterranean markets. This Sadaf um, seasoning, they have the best, best flavors. Like I have probably like six or seven different spices from this brand and my mom got them for me and they all taste amazing. They make everything taste super good and flavorful. So highly recommend checking it out. This one is dill weed. I love dill. I add it to everything. So I'm glad I was able to get this and then this is allspice which is probably the number one thing that you need for mediterranean cooking um so got two of those they have a huge 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 um spice selection so i highly recommend checking it out if you're into mediterranean spices and then we've got a block of feta cheese and i think this will be really nice to add it into um salads but mihai loves feta so have to get that we've got some fresh figs my favorite fruit ever they look so amazing and actually when we were at the jordan market they had such a nice and fresh selection of fruits i'll try to plug in a photo but it was literally amazing all the fruit looked amazing and then we've got some this is my favorite part of this little haul tzatziki fresh tzatziki like they literally just made it and it's just right there. I know that you can, I can make my own, but I feel like buying it from the Jordan market, it's probably going to taste like significantly better. And then lastly, I've got some Raffaello. This is my favorite chocolate or I guess white chocolate <laughs> in the entire world. If you know, you know, best dessert ever. Anyways, that concludes this little sprouts and Jordan market haul. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little haul. If you have any other grocery store recommendations, if you have any recommendations for things that I should get, 
feel free to drop them in the comments down below i did also want to mention that olipop soda that we got the vintage cola i have no words it was incredible there was just something about it first off it literally tastes like coke second the ingredients the ingredients are phenomenal third it has nine grams of fiber i'm here for it <laughs> but anyways if you do try it out do let me know because i think that this is my new favorite drink currently the vintage cola by olipop soda and the poppy those are so so tasty but anyways if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for more content and i will see you in the next one bye